Shota Aizawa, also known as the Erasure Hero, Eraser Head, is a pro hero and the homeroom teacher of UA High School's class Mane. Shota is a slender and tall, pale-skinned man with messy, shoulder-length black hair, that partially hangs in front of his face and half-opened black eyes. He is usually recognized for his worn-out appearance often looking fatigued. His facial hair is almost always in a stubbly, unkempt state, unless he needs to look good for the press, and his eyes are tired and flat unless he's in combat. He sports a baggy black outfit that consists of a long-sleeved shirt or in matching pants that tuck into his boots. He almost wears a utility belt and his signature wrap scarf at all times. He hides a pair of bright yellow goggles underneath his scarf for it when he needs to use them in battle. Before starting his teaching career, Shota's goggles were of a silver-like color and he had a smaller utility belt during his second and third years of high school at UA. Shota's hero outfit was a separate black jacket and pants, as opposed to his current outfit, which looks more like a unitard. He almost sported a pair of fingerless gloves. In his second year, Shota added goggles to his costume. His goggles in his third year resembled more closely the ones he wears today. After being heavily injured by Namu, Shota's entire face and both of his arms were completely covered in bandages. Once these bandages were removed, Shota reveals a deep scar underneath his right eye. His formal attire for press meetings and meetings with parents of his students includes a black suit, blue tie, and white dress shirt. While in this attire, his hair is well groomed and held back in a low bun at the base of his neck. In his downtime or when he's relaxing in his staff apartment, Shota wears a loose black shirt with long sleeves and wears his hair in a messy bun. During the fight against Tomura Shigaraki, Shota had to cut his right leg off to prevent the quirk-destroying drug from destroying his quirk. In the aftermath of the battle, Shota now has a second scar on his eye stretching from his eyebrow to his lower eyelid, as well as an eye patch covering his right eye entirely. Due to the damage received from Tamura, he almost so now possesses a prosthetic right leg. Shota is a very stern and reserved man who has lofty expectations of his students. He is primarily motivated by logic and does not believe in the necessity to maintain a clean-cut appearance or filter his words or ideas for others. He often comes off as cold, apathetic, and impatient, exerting very little energy in most situations preferring to take naps in his sleeping bag instead. As a teacher with notoriously high expectations, Shota is known to expel students who he feels are not suited for UA. Hi, however, it's revealed that this high expulsion rate is only on paper and that he re-enrolls the students he expels. Shota does this so they can experience death once giving them an experience that drives them to push even higher. Although it is noteworthy that he has not expelled any students from class 1A yet, despite being well known for doing so, he can be rigid and strict when necessary and has little tolerance for disobedience. Shota is not afraid of putting his students through rigorous training and often pushes the more unpleasant parts of heroism so that his students can overcome their limits. Shota has proven to be very vocal and unafraid when expressing his ideas. He has mentioned on several occasions that some of the U.A.'s choices when it comes to examinations are not practical or challenging enough for real hero hopefuls and is adamant about having certain systems used by the institution changed. He almost so blatantly stated that he do not believe as Yuku Madraya could become a hero when they first met. He is also known for lying to his students to manipulate them into giving their best a technique he describes as a logical ruse slash rational deception. Despite his apathetic traits, Shota genuinely cares about his students and will go to great lengths to protect them as he saved Saasui from Tomura Shigaraki, despite his grievous injuries. He has also expressed belief in his students on multiple occasions and is confident that even the likes of Katsuki Bakugo would not be swayed by villains. Recovery Girl even implied that he allowed himself to be captured by Momo Yerazu during her first term final exam to boost her confidence. Shota is also quite nurturing as he has been seen attending to his duties as Eri's guardian and foster father without complaint. This is seen when he mentions to All Might that she was sound asleep, 
indicating that he's very attentive and involved in his role as a provider even outside of his duties as a teacher and mentor, he is shown to be extremely disturbed upon discovering the ultimate fate of his friend Obo Earl Shire Akimo. He displayed intense grief upon confronting Kiragiri after discovering that he was one Sobo Uro, showing that Shota has not yet come to terms with his friend's fate. Furthered by this tragedy, Shota is shown to be particularly wrathful towards individuals who are unfortunate enough to provoke him, especially by harming those he cares about. This was seen when Shota strangled Kudai Garaki after learning of the desecration of Obo Uro's corpse, blocking Kudai's longevity quirk and tormenting and humiliating the aged scientist in a show of sheer rage. Despite his personality, Shota has shown on several occasions that he is not completely devoid of joy or humor, he often grins whenever he is impressed by one of his students or after he tricks them with one of his rational deceptions. Overall abilities, Shota has demonstrated incredible combat prowess and ingenuity that makes him one of the most formidable teachers and pro heroes at UA. Hi, Shota's usual battle tactic consists of cancelling an opponent's quirk and then using his capturing weapon in conjunction with his high agility to easily defeat or restrain his adversaries. Even without the aid of his quirk, Shota relies on his proficiency in hand-to-hand -hand combat, excelling in close quarters combat. His overall abilities make him a pivotal combatant in situations that involve his opponents being solely quirk-reliant, and with the Erasure hero creating openings by negating their powers amid battle, he and his comrades are put into advantageous positions. During the USJ incident, he effectively held his own against low-tier members of the League of Villains that surrounded and outnumbered the Erasure hero, dozens to one. Shota evaded multiple attacks from opponents of various sizes and abilities before restraining them and sending them flying with calculated counterattacks. He was even able to nearly defeat Tomura Shigaraki, a highly capable villain before the USJ. Namu intervened and overpowered the Erasure hero. Other than Tomura, Shota can effectively fend off high-level villains such as Vanguard Action Squad members, Dobby and Himiko Toga, albeit with some difficulty. He almost played vital roles during the Shihasekai raid and the Paranormal Liberation War, both of which involved large teams of heroes contending with high-class villains, with the latter spectacle involving the suppression of various high-end Namas and Tom Moore's enhanced abilities. Binding Cloth Shota fights by ensnaring and or immobilizing his opponents with his capturing weapon, and can also use it for mobility by swinging on walls and surfaces. As highly proficient as he is at using this fighting style, Shota stated that it took him six years to learn and develop it from absolute scratch. This style of combat synchronizes well with his erasure quirk as he can nullify the quirks of his opponents while being able to restrain and defeat them. Immense stamina. On multiple occasions, Shota was able to keep fighting on even after suffering significant and painful injuries. During the USJ incident, he fought off swarms of villains and still had the energy to face Tomura. Even when Shota's left arm and skull were shattered by the USJ, Namu, he remained conscious long enough to save Tsa from being killed by Tomura. In addition, during the climax of the Paranormal Liberation War, Shota amputated his leg fast enough to stop the effects of a quirk-destroying bullet, without showing signs of significant pain and continue using his erasure quirk despite the lost limb. Keen intellect, eraser head had been seen to have keen observation and evaluation skills. He can easily evaluate his students' personalities and mental states. He is an expert on collaborating his equipment and quirk. In battle, Eraser Head uses goggles in conjunction with his quirk to prevent enemies from figuring out who he's looking at, and keep them guessing. He almost so quickly creates strategies for dealing with different types of enemies, even those who are immune to his quirk. In addition, he can meticulously discern the mechanics behind people's abilities after witnessing them performed once. Teaching ability While Shota had his reservations about becoming a teacher, Having been signed up for the post by Nimri Chiyama, it is clear that his time at UA has turned him into an effective educator in the hero course. Shota employs a strict, straight to the point, and no-nonsense approach to heroics, reminding his students of the responsibilities they will have as pro-heroes. One of his recurring methods is introducing dire consequences should his students fail. 
like the threat of expulsion, which he dubs rational deceptions to push his students to do their very best. Alongside All Might and the other teachers at UA, Shota has managed to help train Class 1A to become a powerful group of heroes in training. Furthermore, Shota came up with the method of expelling and re-enrolling his students to teach them not to confuse self-sacrifice with throwing one's life away. One of his older students, Miwati Fuwa, commented that while being expelled was scary, it was an experience that helped her class grow overall. Another testament to Shota's capabilities as an instructor is when he taught Hitoshi Shinso his fighting style. In the course of several months, he helped the class 1C student further master his brainwashing quirk, enabling Hitoshi to achieve his goal to enter the hero course. Nezu acknowledged that Hitoshi's improvements were because of Shota's counsel.